Sometimes I feel like it's the clay telling me what to do. And I just submit to this very cruel mistress. It really feels like I am the medium. Something passed through me on my hands, directed by the clay. Instead of me sculpting it, it's like it's sculpting me back. <laughs> It's like a conduit for spirits. My name is Heidi Lau and uh, I'm a sculptor and I work primarily in clay. Working in clay, literally the most gentle touch you put on it becomes embedded into the material. It's just like continuous, making layers upon layers. Everything I've learned, I just taught myself. I think the only technique that I use is just scoring the clay, putting slip on it, and then attaching the work. The hands are probably one of the <laughs> longest running elements in my work. I would never cast like a like a real hand, you know, they kind of all like ghostly and very elongated to like signify that it doesn't come from this world. Yeah, so this is like a preliminary sketch for my project at the catacomb. And so this is the arch. The piece would hang from the sky like down to the floor. There's a lot of urns with drapery on top. It's kind of like a symbol for mourning, and I've been wanting to capture that. I grew up in Macau. My childhood oscillates between very strict Chinese parenting and also me escaping my household and having adventure in a lot of ruins while it was still a colony of Portugal. The Portuguese has built a lot of cathedrals and there are a lot of colonial style houses. I would spend a lot of time wandering into the structures. I'm trying to capture that essence of structures you could get lost into. Wing On Wo is a ceramic store in Chinatown, and it's actually one of the oldest running business in all of Manhattan. I became friends with the owner, May, five years ago. As soon as I stepped inside the store, it just felt so familiar to me because I had grew up in a very similar environment. I see Chinese diaspora similar to the way I see how May runs her store, rethinking how ceramics could be interpreted or like reintroduced to contemporary times. If I could close my eyes, I could even see like the books my grandpa had on the shelf, like his garden. While it's looking in the past, it's also kind of like gives me a lot of like energy to create work, both for now and the future. And that's why I want to bring you this to like, because I want the actual elements to like kind of like reference. I started thinking about using clay to make a burial garment after my mom passed away. 
As a way to grieve, I began to look at a lot of burial objects from Han and Qing Dynasty and also watching a lot of Chinese zombie movies. <laughs> It feels right to grieve with my hands. Doing this very labor-intensive, almost the most impractical thing you can think of to do with clay. The labor of it equals grieving. I started taking very long walks during the residency. And that's kind of how the project at the catacomb started taking shape slowly through these aimless meditative walks. It's like a daily exercise for myself to like empty out my own ego. When I am able to get to that state, at the time that I could access this like ancestral plane and find my way on the other side. I see my work kind of as touch points between very opposing ideas, between human and spiritual unknown. I feel like at the core of me making work about grief, it's putting emotion into clay and really listening to it. It becomes something familiar, something beautiful.